Okay, I'm going to try not to cry, but I was in church, and we were reading out of the book of James, and I couldn't help but to think, this time last year, that's exactly where I was at in the book of James, like thoroughly reading it over and over and over and over again about trials and tribulations and how God takes us through these things to strengthen our faith. And I share a lot of like my story, but there's a lot that I don't share as well, but you know, like to see what God has done in my life in just one year, y'all. In just in just one year of giving God my time. Not being perfect, not having it all together, still messing up, still in a world world of sin, you know, still doing all these things, but giving God my time. Like just giving God my time for one year and seeing what God has done in my life, like Sometimes I just don't even know how to put it, but I wouldn't even try to force it on nobody else. I really wish and pray for everybody to be able to experience it for themselves. But I just cannot fathom the thought of not being in the presence of God, trusting God, believing in God, knowing that he has designed myself and each and every one of you for a very specific thing. Like, God brought you onto this earth on a very specific date, a very specific time. He has a very specific plan. It don't look like nobody else's. Your life doesn't look like anybody else's. You don't look like anybody else. You don't feel like nobody else. There's nobody on this earth that can create another you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The journey is going to look different for everybody. I don't have to have anxiety about mine because mine is not going to look like yours. You don't have to worry about what somebody else got going on because theirs is not going to look like yours. The same convictions that I might receive, you might not receive it and vice versa. Or you might receive it at different points in your life. But it just goes to show, like, for me, like, I just see it and I think sometimes, like, wow. Wow, God. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody asked me the other day something and I said, I just feel so peaceful. Like, And that's why I just continue to read. I continue to pray. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. It doesn't matter where I'm at. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever. When I read, I just feel so peaceful. Like, just so peaceful. And I know this is all over the place. But I just wanted to share this. And I wanted to tell somebody that God has a plan. 